TV Nation, the Christmas promo is finally here. Well, I guess technically it's called the Ultimate Freeze promo. And what you guys are going to see when you first jump in the mutt today is a new weekly solo challenge. And it's called the Ice Bowl. Because in 1967, the Ice Bowl was played between the Packers and Cowboys. And they consider it one of the greatest NFL games in history. Because it was played at negative 36 degrees. I mean, that's just crazy to think about. I don't even like when it's 36 degrees out let alone negative 36. Now there is a new set called the Frozen Tundra. If you get five of those collectibles, you are given a gift. And as you guys can see, even the packs are all decked out for this Ultimate Freeze theme. Now I have been saving the rest of my All Madden bundle specifically for this day. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna rip this thing right now and hopefully we can get some pretty good gifts out of here. Here in the first pack, you can see we're just getting a bunch of gold players and we don't get a single gift. Now you guys are probably gonna see a Frozen Tundra collectible or a gift in about every other pack. Here we get our first one. We also get a Brandon LaFell and later on in the pack, we actually get a second Frozen Tundra collectible. Now the last time I checked, the collectibles are going for about 15,000 coins. So you guys gotta make a choice. Are you gonna collect all five and get a gift or would you rather sell those collectibles and make about 55 to 65,000 coins? Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys, it seems like the gifts you get from those collectibles are pretty common, so you may actually be better off selling those collectibles. But don't take my word for it, if you end up selling them, and then something sweet comes out of one of your gifts, you didn't hear it from me. Here we get our third Frozen Tundra collectible, I will take that, and here we actually get number four. So all we need to do is play that solo challenge, and we will get ourselves our first gift, Reggie Wayne. We really haven't gotten anything for players out of this pack. Dante Whitner, probably the best player we've got. I want to say we got one more pack remaining. Scott Wells, 77. Khalil Mack, 76. Anthony Collins, 76. And another 75 overall player. That's the reason why people are always so frustrated with packs. Four players all rated within 75 to 77. I mean, that just should be illegal right there. I should send that to EA. And demand some type of refund but anyways we just got to move on from it I went ahead I collected my four frozen tundra collectibles so all we needed was one more and instead of playing the solo challenge I decided to go ahead and open up a seven pro pack bundle now let me tell you guys I don't know if pack hasn't been crazy yet but things will definitely start to heat up and also drop a like on this video if you want to see an even bigger pack opening tomorrow for that 24 hour Des Bryant now for the first two packs Really nothing going on, no signs of a collectible, no signs of a gift yet here in pack number three. We do get a Mark Sanchez, I guess that's a bright spot. Pack number four, hopefully we can have some better luck here. Moving on through the pack, really don't see anything as of yet. A Derek Sherrod and still no signs of an ultimate freeze gift or a frozen tundra collectible. So in pack number five, we get a rising star, Bernard Robinson, still absolutely nothing. I'm starting to get worried right now. Two more packs remaining, we get a Ted Ginn. And finally, we get our fifth Frozen Tundra collectible. So right after this pack opening, I will show you guys the gift I get. Pack number seven, maybe we'll get something worthwhile. We get a road to the playoffs, Matthew Stafford. Another Frozen Tundra collectible, and that's about it. So that's what you can expect to see out of a seven pro pack bundle. Hopefully you guys will have better luck than me. So I went ahead, I collected the fifth and final Frozen Tundra collectible. And we get our first gift pack. Let's see what we are going to get. No idea what this means. It's a gift you can open up on 12-23, so December 23rd. And it's got an Atlanta Falcons logo on it. I don't know. It seems pretty common. It seems like a lot of people have it. So I went through and I was looking through more gifts. And this gift right here actually has a picture of Alabama on it. That little black thing. That's not a hole down there. It's actually the outline of the state of Alabama. So I went ahead and I decided to open up some more pro packs just randomly. I wasn't even recording here in pack number one. I'm telling you guys, things are going to start heating up. Okay, nothing here. But we do get a Seattle Seahawks gift. You can open this one up on December 20th. Now, you can trade these for other gifts. But I think I'm going to go ahead and just keep it. So since we did get a Christmas gift, I decided to keep on opening packs here in pack number two. Let's see what it's going to bring us. The second card is an elite Devin McCourty. Now, I have been looking to replace Harrison Smith. And being a Patriots fan, I've always wanted to use Devin McCourty and Mutt, but I haven't used him this year. So I think we're going to go ahead and give him the starting nod in our next video. Now, we did get a road to the playoffs. Marquette King to end the pack. So I will take that. That is a great pack right there. 
So I decide to keep things going. Maybe packs are starting to heat up. Let's see what we can get in pack number three. If we get a road to the playoffs, Curtis Lofton. And absolutely no collectible or Christmas gift. So I kept on opening. I'm like, we can't end it on that pack right there. I mean, that was an absolute dud. So let's see what we can get in number four. Have spent around 100k so far in these packs. And we end up getting a gold Mike Pollock. And once again, no Christmas gift or collectible. So I was thinking, okay, maybe I should stop opening packs. But I need to end it on a good note. So I went ahead and opened up a fifth pack. We get a road to the playoffs card. And it's Elite Jerry Hughes. Now I've been saying to you guys all year, I need to replace my left end. And I think Jerry Hughes just may be that guy. 88 speed. 97 finesse move. I mean, he just seems like an absolute beast. We also did get an Adam Vinatieri in the pack. So two elites in five packs plus a Christmas gift. And then I'm going to be honest with you guys. After that pack right there, really not a whole lot going on. I want to say I do pull another Frozen Tundra or two. But that was about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys got a better idea of what's going on with this promo. You can see we get another Ultimate Freeze Frozen Tundra collectible right there and an Earl Mitchell and yeah so I'm just gonna let the rest of the pack opening play I hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like if you did if you want to see another pack opening tomorrow also comment down below what do you think of this promo and what do you think is inside of my Atlanta Falcons gift I mean I'll just leave it up to you guys I really have no idea and also if you're new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button I'm TD Presents and I'm signing out